How do you automatically copy video files into Premiere Pro when you drag them into the project window? At the minute, the project that's open in Premiere Pro here lives inside this Premiere Pro Quick Tips folder. We don't currently have any video files in here. Watch what happens if I go and drag some videos from outside of this project directory into the project window in Premiere Pro. It's going to import all of those video files and we can see them in this bin here. But if I head back to the folder, notice that the video files aren't actually in this folder. They haven't been copied across to the project folder. So say we'd actually made use of these video files in a project or a timeline here. If the original files outside of the project directory were to disappear, I'll just go and delete them. If we come back to Premiere Pro, Notice now we get the dreaded media offline red error message here. And now Premiere Pro is telling us that we're missing the original video files for all of these videos. I'm just gonna cancel this. So that's basically going to mess up your edit if you ever need to re-export or work with this project again. I'm just going to delete this sequence and also delete this entire bin and undelete that folder that we just deleted. You can see we've got this S3 folder back again containing the video files. If you want to tell your project to actually copy the video files that you drag into the project window here, come to the file menu, come down to project settings and choose ingest settings. Tick this ingest tick box and choose this copy preset. You can choose where the video files will be copied to. So you can choose same as the project, or you could choose a specific location. If you leave this as same as project, it's going to copy the video files into the project directory. I'm going to click OK. And then once again, drag this folder into Premiere Pro. This time it's going to open up Media Encoder and Media Encoder is going to perform the validated copy of all of the files that we just dragged into Premiere Pro. It's taking a bit longer than a normal copy because Media Encoder is actually verifying the copy as it does it. Once that's done, you can close Media Encoder. Once again, we can see all of the video files in Premiere Pro and we know that they're working because we don't get the dreaded Media Offline red box. But now if I go and delete this S3 folder again, come back to Premiere Pro, notice that everything's okay. We don't get the media missing message. And that's because now in the project directory, it's copied all of the video files from that original S3 folder into the project folder here.